We've all seen the pictures and videos of NBA star James Harden partying in the club. From having women all around him to a bottle of liquor in his hand, it almost appears that Harden is dedicated to partying more than trying to win an NBA title. Is this a problem that's potentially going to cost Harden his job in the NBA? Or is James Harden just someone who likes to have a good time? Let's dive deep into the party lifestyle of the beard himself, James Harden. I thought it was going to be... Oh, man, Harden. Oh, he stared at Wesley Johnson, and then he hit the three. James Harden is not only a basketball superstar, but he's also a party enthusiast. His life off the court has become a fascination for many, and he has been known to host some of the most lavish parties and events in the industry. Harden's party lifestyle is an intriguing topic that has garnished much attention recently. From his extravagant birthday celebrations to his exclusive nightclub events, James Harden knows how to throw a party. As we reveal some of the most lavish and over-the-top parties Harden has thrown to the celebrities that have attended, you'll get a first-hand look into the party lifestyle of James Harden like you never have before. From the moment Harden burst onto the scene as a young talent, the beard has captivated audiences with his mesmerizing performances and his trademark long beard. Still, these aren't what catches a lot of people's attention when it comes to Harden. No, there's something else that catches fans' mind and media outlets as well. It's Harden's extravagant nightlife that has truly earned him a place in the spotlight beyond the game. Harden's parties have become legendary, with each event surpassing expectations and leaving attendees in awe. From luxurious yacht parties in exotic locations to exclusive VIP gatherings at the hottest nightclubs, Harden's social calendar is always filled with extravagant affairs that attract the who's who of both the sports and entertainment worlds. But what is it about Harden's party lifestyle that has garnered so much attention? Is it the lavish venues, the high profile guest list, or the electric atmosphere that surrounds these events? Perhaps it's a combination of all these elements coupled with Harden's magnetic charisma and larger than life persona that make his parties the talk of the town. While fans in the media might love to gossip about Harden's off-court lifestyle, it's come to hurt him in the basketball world. As many teams are reluctant to go after him in trades or sign him in free agency due to his extreme commitment to partying. So, what exactly is James Harden's lifestyle? On August 26, 2022, Harden turned 33 years old, and he celebrated in grand fashion. The beard partied on a yacht next to his face carved in a big block of ice. Talk about being iced out. At the party were fellow NBA stars Kevin Durant and Trey Young. Also at the party were rappers Travis Scott and Future, as well as Michael Rubin, who is the CEO of the popular merchandising company Fanatics. One of the highlights of Harden's party was when the birthday boy tossed his four-tier cake overboard into the ocean. This shocked everyone, but it didn't stop Harden, who danced and had himself a great time for the remainder of the party. But this is just one example of Harden's crazy lifestyle. Harden famously partied with rapper Lil Baby on the hip hop star's birthday. As the two were spotted with large amounts of cash in a Houston strip club, Harden also recently missed Philadelphia 76ers teammate and reigning MVP Joel Embiid's wedding. It was a shock for many when Harden didn't show up to Embiid's wedding, but it was more of a shock when Harden was spotted buying a bunch of Trill burgers from rapper Bun B at the club and then posting an Instagram story promoting his brand. Partying at a club is one of Harden's greatest passions. It's also one reason why a few NBA franchises shy away from going after the former MVP. Some NBA owners and management worry that Harden doesn't care enough about basketball. They believe he loves to party at the club more than focusing on the game of basketball. Now, this is likely false, as Harden has never spoken about enjoying partying more than playing basketball. Still, Harden shows anyone who has a camera that he loves spending time in the clubs, especially strip clubs. This was one of the reasons why Harden enjoyed playing for the Houston Rockets, as Houston is notorious for their exotic clubs. Among these clubs is a famous joint in Houston named Dreams, 
and apparently, it's one of Harden's favorites. Harden once reportedly spent 1.5 million in one night at Dreams. This, obviously, was well received by the club, and they honored Harden by hanging his jersey in the club. Yes, Harden's first jersey retirement occurred in a Houston club. How crazy is that? This just goes to show Harden's dedication to partying and enjoying his nightlife. The Joe Budden Podcast, starring rapper Joe Budden and his co-host Malin Rory, once discussed Harden's jersey retirement at Dreams. James has his jersey like hanging from the top. Uh, yeah, what's up with this jersey hanging thing? No, they was doing that because they said James just be going in there spinning like, you know what I mean? So they gave him his own, like, his own jersey hanging from the rafters of the strip club. Talk about being an MVP. That's exactly what Harden is on the basketball court and in the club. Still, as mentioned earlier, many NBA teams are not fans of Harden's off-court lifestyle, and it's easy to see why. This issue goes beyond just team owners and management. Former players, analysts, and fans alike have criticized Harden for his love of the nightlife. NBA legend and current TNT analyst Shaquille O'Neal has spoken about Harden's lifestyle relating to his NBA career. I'm not going to talk about him going out and hanging out with rappers. I invented that. That's what yeah. I did. Yeah, however, that's true. However, when I stepped on that court, I still got 28, 30, 40, 50, right. 60, and I still won championships. So if he's going to do all that, his play has to be extraordinary. Shaq nailed it on the head with this statement. There's one thing with going out and enjoying yourself after a game or during an off day. There's also times when going out to the club isn't the best idea. It's a completely different story for a championship less James Harden. In fact, compared to Shaq, it's a completely different story for a championship less James Harden. After Harden's Philadelphia 76ers got blown out by his previous team, the Brooklyn Nets, in a 2022 game, Harden was seen partying shortly afterwards. Yes, Harden's team lost 129 to 100 to the Nets, Harden was seen partying with rappers Lil Baby and Travis Scott. What made things worse was the fact Harden had a terrible game, scoring just 11 points on 3 of 17 shooting. Not to mention his plus minus was minus 30 for the whole night in a game they lost by 29 points. Fans erupted at Harden on X once they found out this piece of information. One fan wrote, part-time Hooper, full-time city boy. I figured him out. Another fan wrote, as a basketball fan, this is funny, but I honestly couldn't imagine being a Philly fan seeing your superstar celebrating after playing terrible and losing one of your biggest home games. This is not a good look for Harden. Even popular sports analyst Stephen A. Smith weighed in on Harden's nightmare performing against the Nets during the 2022 regular season. I need to send a message on national television to James Harden. As a person that played, that, that worked in Philadelphia wow. for 17 years, mm. from a college reporter to a general sports columnist, over 17 years, I know this city. They love you. They appreciate the fact that you are not Ben Simmons. But make no mistake, when you play like you played the other night, you cannot be seen out partying that night like it meant no big deal to you because the city, I can assure you, it was a big deal to them. And be careful, James Harden. Be very, very so careful. It's not Houston. It's not Houston. It ain't Houston. Stephen A. Smith may be correct on this take involving Harden, but this was just a regular season game. As mentioned earlier, Harden usually plays well in the regular season, so his partying isn't much of an issue. The real issue for Harden is his dip in the playoffs, and for some, this is when Harden's nightlife becomes an issue for most people. For example, in the regular season, Harden has played extremely well. This includes having seasons averaging 34.3 and 36.1 points per game. Now, when speaking about the playoffs, that's a whole nother story. Harden has famously struggled in the postseason. In the season where he averaged 36.1 points per game, this average dropped to 31.6 points per game. Now, 31.6 points per game is still very good, but that's 4.5 points less per game than his regular season average, and a less efficient 30-plus points at that. 
This isn't the only example of Harden's struggles during the playoffs. Harden has come up small in many playoff games, including having big misses and an incredible amount of turnovers during big games. However, one of Harden's biggest meltdowns occurred before he became the leading man on a team. Harden was just a role player during the 2011-2012 season as he came off the bench for the Oklahoma City Thunder. This wasn't a surprise as the Thunder had great players in Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. I mean, we all remember that 2011 and 12 Thunder team. In the Western Conference Finals versus the San Antonio Spurs, Harden showed his true talent. He stepped up big, averaging 18 and a half points, which was second best on the team, 5.5 rebounds and 3.7 assists off the bench. Harden's play helped the Thunder defeat the Spurs 4-2 to advance to the NBA Finals. In the finals against the LeBron James-led Miami Heat, Harden disappeared. The Beard averaged just 12.4 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 3.6 assists per game. What was worse was Harden's shooting average, which was 37.5% in the finals, compared to 49.3% in the Western Conference Finals. Harden's former teammate on the Thunder, Kendrick Perkins, believed his partying may have gotten in his way during the 2012 Finals. Okay, the series tied 1-1. And all of a sudden, we get to Miami, and South Beach get a hold to us, right? South Beach, right? James Harden disappeared completely off the face of the earth when we needed him the most. His numbers that – I mean, his numbers in the finals were mind-boggling. That's, like, what they, that's what everyone said is that – I mean, they said that he was too young, so was it not that it was that South Beach I don't got know a hold? What it was, I don't know what it was, but I just know he wasn't there. Miami is known for having incredible nightlife, and Harden couldn't resist staying out of the clubs while in South Beach. Perkins clearly doesn't seem happy with Harden's decisions off the court during the 2012 NBA Finals, and he is right to feel this way. If Harden played better, he might be an NBA champion. Harden still has time to win a title. Who knows? If it'll be in Philadelphia, or if Harden gets his way somewhere else, Ultimately, there's one thing Harden needs to work on, his work-life balance. James Harden can enjoy the clubs and have a good time, but at the end of the day, basketball needs to come first. And there's no reason to suggest it has thus far in his career. With a big job comes a big responsibility. So, what will the 2023-24 season bring for James Harden? Will fans get to enjoy a highlight reel of Harden dominating on the basketball court and possibly holding up the all-so-important Larry O'Brien Championship trophy? Or will TMZ have a field day of sharing Harden's party reel for all of us to enjoy? Either way, fans win in this scenario. Be sure to keep up with Kicks. We're posting videos weekly and you don't want to miss out. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and comment below what you think Harden's future holds.